The bouncing of a basketball isn't taken lightly in Baltimore. The young learn from the old with stories of glory. Rennell Tulin can hold his own on the court. That was until he faced Baltimore's Dunbar High School. When we did play Dunbar, everybody wanted to be at that game. I mean, the bleachers were full. Any other team, it wasn't so full. Why do you think they attracted so, so many great players? The program, the coaches, uh, the way they uh, developed the uh, young men, and the way that uh, the, 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 the young men um, received that development, received that training, received that discipline from those coaches. So it was the program, the coaches, and people cared about those children in their city. The rise of the school from local to national lore is chronicled by Alejandro Denois' new book, The Boys of Dunbar. There's just this magnificent quality when we look at the overall composition of this team. On a prep level, on a high school level, it really is the perfect squad. You've got the unbelievable presence of this diminutive monster, Muggsy Bogues, Tyrone Bogues, who at five foot three can dominate a game without scoring a point and with his defensive prowess. You've got Reggie Williams, who is the number one player in high school in America, six foot seven, there's nothing he can't do on a basketball court. You look at all of the complementary pieces and then through the historical lens, we see what they all went on to do. Four guys from this 81-82 team went on to play in the NBA. Denois held a reading in Baltimore. He was peppered with questions. As a native New Yorker, an older basketball player told him about the best high school basketball team he had ever had the privilege to witness. The 10-year odyssey to write the book allowed him to see the players in the context of the times. Early 80s, Lafayette Courts housing projects, East Baltimore neighborhood was not a very pleasant place to grow up. And there were a bunch of sociological forces that came together to really swallow up a very proud community. It was not a pleasant place to grow up, but when you talk to the guys that grew up there, especially the ones who were within this nurturing Dunbar basketball family, they'll tell you it was an oasis. Can you speak to the chemistry that they had? These guys, their families knew each other before they were ever born. Bob Wade, the head coach, knew Muggsy and Reggie's family before they were born. It's a basketball book that really isn't about basketball at all. You know, it's about hope in the unseen. It's about family. It's about hard work. It's about mentorship. It's about uh, a wonderful academic institution in the midst of such negative forces that are pulling the community down. For the young people who listened to Denois, it was a message they could take to the court and life. In Baltimore, I'm Charles Robinson.